Hello friends, I'm astrologer and Vastu consultant Ridhi Behel. Now one query that I've been getting time and time again is that, you know, people coming and telling me that, uh, you know, we get nervous, we get stuck, we are not able to grow in life, we get short of ideas, uh, we are not very confident of ourselves, whereas, you know, these people have found them to be intelligent, academically bright, but then they, f uh, they have said this and they feel that they are stuck in life. That growth is not happening as per their potential or as per their intelligence. So that kind of, you know, uh, made me do a little research on uh, the charts or the horoscopes of such people. So I collected a few of the horoscopes of the people who, uh, you know, kind of visited me and also of people whom I knew and I felt were dealing with this kind of a situation where they were feeling stuck in life. And the outcome of the research is what I'm going to discuss with you today. So what I found that the planet which was responsible for people getting stuck or their potential not, you know, getting utilized to the fullest was Mercury. Mercury is logic. Moon is our thoughts. What should, uh, you know, I do in the morning? Where should I go for dinner? What should I eat? What should I dress up like? You know, all this is moon. It is your thoughts. But Mercury is the logic. I want to open a restaurant. That is moon. That has given you the thought. But who will implement that thought? That thought, the implementation of that thought will come with logic and intelligence. And that is where the role of Mercury comes. So what I found in these charts, which I did the research on, that the Mercury was weak. So what was happening? They were getting ideas, but they were not able to implement it. The logic was lacking. As a result, they were nervous. Mercury in medical astrology represents your nervous system, your spine. When a baby is formed in the womb, the first organ which is formed is the spinal cord and the nervous system. I also found out in this little research that I did that people who have weak Mercury, they had problems related to either spinal cord or had problems related to nervous system. So how to make your mercury strong? Mercury also we relate with breathing. We call it as prana. See, astrology, Ayurveda, yoga, all these three are deeply linked. And all these three aim at the well-being of the human being. How we can lead our life in a simple way and be healthy, also attain to our fullest potential. In that breathing also plays a very important role. Mercury, which I said is logic, is intelligence. Mercury gets digbal. That is a special kind of a strength that each planet gets. Mercury gets its digbal in the first house, the lung. Even Jupiter gets his digbal in the first house. Jupiter is the planet of wisdom and Mercury is the planet of intelligence. The sun rises. The sunrise happens sometime around 6, 6.30 or in summers maybe a little earlier. But the sun from 6 a.m. to 8 a.m. is in the lung, the first house where Mercury and Jupiter gets digbal. That is the time when we start our education. Don't we all go to schools? The school timings are wherever in whichever part of the world the schools are. The school timings are from 6 a.m. to 8 a.m. That is the time the schools begin. Even in earlier times when the, there was a system of Gurukul, the student had to be ready and be in front of the guru or the teacher for education, starting of the education at the time of the sunrise. That is between 6 a.m. to 8 a.m. So what does this mean? This means that your intelligence, your logic is at its peak between 6 a.m. to 8 a.m. So people who feel nervous, who feel stuck, who feel their ideas are not, you know, uh, they, they are not coming up with ideas which they are worth of or their potential is not being tapped properly. They should sit and do meditation during these this time. Believe me, friends, I've given this, suggested this remedy to a lot of people and they have come up with to me with positive feedback that it has really helped them. 
See, in astrology, as I said, it's meant for the well-being of human being. Simple remedies can bring about miraculous changes. You don't have to get into, you know, some kind of a lengthy, elaborated or money spending remedies. There are simple, doable remedies which bring about a lot of changes. As I said, Mercury is also prana. It is your breathing. So if your breathing is correct, it can really help in your positive development, in your positive mental development, in your mental growth. And everything is a mind game. So when your logic, when your mind, everything is relaxed or is at the right place, you are full of ideas. You can implement them for your own benefit. So apart from meditation, also do some breathing exercise. Count on your breaths. When your breathing improves, your mercury automatically improves. See, people who are, you know, who get anxious or people who have anxiety pangs or people who are very emotional or who have volatile behavior. If you see, see the look at the breathing pattern. The breathing pattern is not proper. But if they make their breathing patterns proper, the mercury improves. And when mercury improves, the logic improves and the intelligence improves. So do this. First, uh, meditation in the morning hours between 6 a.m. to 8 a.m. and breathing exercise. Do it and do give me your feedback. I'm sure you will also benefit like a lot of others whom, I'm, whom I have given these remedies and helped by doing these things. So when your mercury improves, your logic improves and your intelligence improves. Thank you so much. Do take care and do give me your feedback.